This video is brought to you in part by the Sri Lanka Tourism Board. All right, so we just ate lunch at this little restaurant right here. Um, it's you know typical food from here: rice, vegetables, curry, um, lentils, and chicken. Well, sorry, and chicken, fish, and a few other things. It literally costs like three dollars for both of us to eat. Amazing. So right now we're going to Anuradhapura. If they grabbed each brick from here, they could literally build a wall six feet high, three feet wide from where? From London to Edinburgh. From London to Edinburgh, which is, I don't even know how many kilometers. It's a lot of kilometers. It's a lot of kilometers. It's London to obviously Scotland. So 5th to 6th century AD, this was the second largest building in the world. Uh, nearly um, 300 meters high. high. Okay. So at the moment, Cause, yeah, because the top yeah. is gone. Oh, yes. Top is completely cut. Okay, let's go up to it. So here we are in front of the Dutugamunu structure. Dutugamunu structure. Dutugamunu, the great king who was really able to fight with, against the Dravidian. So this is the great king who fought the Dra Dravidians and from were, India. Okay, and this is, what What year was this built? You said that? Uh, it's before the second century, like third century BC. BC, and this is one of the most holiest places here in Sri Lanka, and I'm gonna actually do an offering for a yeah. friend of mine that's going through some trouble right now. So when, when you're going through trouble, this is uh, sort of the way that you pray and ask for help, right? Right, yeah. Okay, so this is what you buy, and you go and you leave a flower or two, and you go to the other stupa, because there's a few different ones around here, and you just leave them there, and they're gonna help you. Let's go. This lamp right here, this lamp in here is called Dos Mahe, which means 12 months, and it's lit up every single day of the year. And the reason it stays lit is because everybody comes here and fills it up with fuel, with oil. Now we are in front of one of the shrine room. If you walk a little inside the shrine room, you could see... Four Buddhas. No. Inside the shrine room, you see the Tutukemunu and the Dravidian King, Lara. Okay, I'm sorry. Perfect. The four Buddhas are outside. Yeah. Here we go, I'm gonna make it off again. Now here we are in front of the statue shows you a Sangamitta, which is sister of the Hindu. And this place became the second famous place of Sri Lanka after the sacred relic, tooth sacred relic and candy. All right, so right in front of us we have the bow tree, the original one. And the reason they have it covered is because he was saying that some people didn't really respect that they would light candles, do a lot of things by the roots, and that could really harm a tree. This is a very old tree. This is all over 2,000 years old. So right there you see that they have it sticking up. Golden supports right here. Everybody over here making offerings. Everything here is ancient, oh, ancient really? 2,000 plus years old, during yeah. the Romans. The Romans didn't get over here though, they missed this place. 